All right, Beatrice Polite is here now with your health news, and tonight an important advancement in understanding breast cancer. Most of us might think of breast cancer as a single disease, but B, new research reveals that breast cancer is actually many diseases sort of operating at the same time. Indeed, and maybe even more than we might think. And today might be the first step in what's called the Encyclopedia of Breast Cancers. This vat has capacity for about 30,000 specimens. Among them is Dodie Katzenstein's. She had metastatic breast cancer treated with a drug called Herceptin. The drug that has kept me alive for 11 years now, after having a prognosis initially of about one year. Doctors have long treated patients on the basis of three types of breast cancer, but an analysis of breast cancer patients by Canadian and British researchers shows there are many more. In this study, we can see that um, there seem to be at least 10 subcategories of breast cancer. Researchers looked at over 2,000 breast cancer tumor samples. The information was entered into a computer to create what's called a heat map. The arrays we used, um, each one of them generates thousands of, of data points. Red shading means that those particular genes have increased activity, and blue shading means that those particular genes have uh, decreased activity. Those activity patterns were classified into 10 subtypes of breast cancer. The hope is knowing which subtype a patient has will mean personalized treatment. And that will enable us to make sure that we really target the right treatment to the right woman based on those who are going to benefit, or if they're not going to benefit, not exposing them to the side effects associated with those treatments. Oncologist Dr. Phil Bedard says though the study does provide a gold mine of information, how patients are treated won't change right now. But it's going to lead to a number of other studies and there are a number of other exciting studies that are going on now that ultimately is going to change the way that we treat patients instead of just looking at the, the disease under the microscope, really understanding it at a genetic level and trying to tailor our treatments effectively. Researchers say there are very likely far more than 10 subtypes. They now hope to take the information about the 10 subtypes that they know about and look at the drugs they already have available and test those drugs against those different types of breast cancer and see what happens. So this is the new generation of breast cancer treatment that we're seeing right now? I'd say it's probably the new generation of personalized medicine right. with pretty much any condition And advancements days. are, the sky's the limit hopefully. Hopefully. Thank Fingers you, Bea.